Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Landon with LMR.com. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at 5.0 Resto's factory style shifter handle. The shifter handle is designed to fit all 1983 to 2004 Mustangs, as well as your 79 to 82 Mustang with a later model transmission. So T5, T45, 3650. We take a closer look at the factory style handle. Notice right away we got black e-coat. Looks really good. The factory thread pattern, M12175. So your factory shift knob or an aftermarket shift knob with the M12 by 175 uh, thread pattern will fit fit this factory style shift handle. Down at the bottom of the handle here, pre-installed are sleeves, then of course the uh, rubber isolator, and then on the clamshell side, uh, it uh, has a rubber isolator as well. So whenever that installs around the shifter lever, does this number, and then you slide your bolts through this side here and you get it attached. It does include zinc coated hardware that's with a 12 millimeter wrenching size. The car we're working on today, this is our 2004 Azure Blue Mach 1. Y'all probably seen this car on the channel before. We've done a few videos on it, like our header panel repair brackets. We've dynoed the car. Uh, Y'all can check those out down in the description below. It does have an aftermarket short throw shifter in it with an aftermarket handle. And what happens with an aftermarket handle, sometimes, depending on uh, the manufacturer of the handle, it changes the geometry and changes the position of the shift knob itself. So for a lot of folks, you know, you may have to kind of you know sit up you know that way you're comfortable um, you know when you when you go to shift gears also forgot one little thing you're probably wondering what this little rubber ring or rubber piece is here at the bottom this is so you can bring it up uh, and bottom the shift boot out uh, underneath uh, your shift knob. Before we put the boot and the upper shifter bezel back on, you know, we'll pull this up uh, into position. So a couple more fitment notes. I'm just gonna use the clamshell here for reference. Uh, if we take a look at our center to center length for the attaching hardware, this is 23 millimeters. If you have an aftermarket shifter with a lever that does not have a center to center of 23 millimeters, this will not work. So just keep that in mind uh, before you purchase this factory style shifter handle. Disassemble your shifter bezel, your boot, and check your center to center length uh, on the lever and aftermarket shifter that's in your car. Uh, second, because of the manufacturing tolerances, the bolts, the shoulder here, may not slide cleanly through the bracket or the clamshell portion here. If it doesn't, uh, this one here, nah, it's got a little bit of grab to it. If it doesn't want to slide clean, that's an easy, easy fix. We'll just take a little rat tail file and remove some of that paint, and I'll show you that real quick. Like I said, this won't be on all of them. Uh, this is just, you know, this variance is in manufacturing tolerances, and all it takes is just a little bit of coating or paint, you know, to impede the fastener. And just like that, we're good to go. All right, so regardless if you have Fox Body S in or New Edge, uh, you'll rotate your shift knob counterclockwise to remove it. Of course, this is a factory style shift knob, so we don't have a jam or anything like that. If you have that particular setup, you'll have to get the correct open end wrench. Um, break your jam nut free and then loosen your shift knob or remove your shift knob. All Fox SN cars, these are just clips into the consoles. So you just gently pull up or pull away from the console to free the shifter bezel. Um, new edge cars, SN cars, they'll have an electrical connection here that you'll want to disconnect. Okay, now we can go ahead and remove the boot and bezel all as one. Okay, so this is an aftermarket shifter handle. Uh, it's also good to point out here, you notice how this is attaching. Uh, this is attaching with nuts. I also uh, forgot to mention that as well. So depending on the aftermarket shifter, the lever will be threaded or it will not. Uh, on a factory shifter lever, this is threaded. So the retaining bolts just go straight into the lever. Um, if they're just through holes, like most, aftermarket shifter levers, you will need a retaining nut and just a drop of blue thread locking compound. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this free. Hardware with aftermarket stuff will always differ. So I'm not really gonna quote that. And there may be blue thread locking compound in place. Somebody may have put, so just be mindful that these may come loose uh, in an abrupt manner. All right, so we got those broke loose. Go ahead and back these nuts off. Set these aside. So the lever is threaded. Somebody had just added nuts. So somebody had just added nuts for an extra layer of uh, clamping force. Okay, we'll move the existing handle, followed by any isolator or anything that could be on there as well. Uh, pay attention to, um, you can uh, clean that up uh, if you're, you know, may have some 
some corrosion or something like that, but ours is in really good shape. So we're just gonna go straight on with the uh, factory style shifter handle. There's also another hole down there. Most aftermarket shifter levers have some adjustability here so you can change the height um, of, your, of your handle, but I'm just gonna go back in the top two, top two holes. All right, so on your factory style shifter handle, the clamshell is gonna go together like this. And then that's going to get positioned as such on the lever. And then we'll just put a little bit of blue Loctite on our bolt, or both bolts, and we'll run them through. We'll go ahead and get one started. We'll do the same for the other one. We'll go ahead and run these down with our socket wrench. These have a torque spec of 27 pound feet. I don't think I've ever torqued these bolts in the past. I just run them down until they're snug. Uh, but for those of you that like torque specs, 27 pound feet. And if you go to torque it, you may have to like move it down here into reverse. That way it's in the downward position. But like I said, I'm just gonna go snug. Y'all know me while we're here. We don't have to get too crazy. You know, we could vacuum all down in here, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, now we'll move our boot stop up the handle. Reposition our bezel. Reconnect any electrical connection if equipped. reseat the bezel and then reinstall the shift knob it's also important to note if you're installing any shift knob for that matter don't crank on these till they're extremely tight you will run the handle straight through the top of this knob perfect you get the benefits of the short throw shifter but you still get the comfort of a factory style shifter handle. And I can already tell by just sitting here, you can see where there's now a bend here in my arm instead of it being straight from the geometry change on that other shift handle. All right, everybody, so that's gonna do it on the uh, 50 Resto factory style shifter handle. I think we all know by now where the state of these cars are at. Uh, a lot of us are wanting to uh, kind of put them back the way they were. And for some, you know, we just preferred stock components over aftermarket components. Uh, and that's kind of the case uh, for this uh, 2004 Mach 1 here where, you know, we, we prefer the geometry of the factory style shifter handle, uh, but we like the aftermarket shifter. So uh, as always, if you have any questions, drop us a comment. Uh, and if you find value in what we do uh, go ahead and like the video subscribe to our channel turn on notifications that way you're notified every time we release something new and then until we see you in the next one y'all know what to do for all things fox body sn95 and new edge mustang keep it right here with the real enthusiasts lmr.com